cover the undo and history options. So when you're working in Photoshop, a lot of it is experimentation and just trying different things, seeing how they look. Maybe they're great, maybe they're not so great. Um, so by using undo and by working with the history tab, you can kind of go backwards and get rid of something that may not have been so awesome. So let's say I'm working on this picture and I end up doing something that I really don't like. So those white markings, that overlay I did, I really don't like how it looks. So a quick and easy way is to just go into edit and undo brush tool. And it's just going to undo the last step I did. Um, if I decide right afterwards that, you know what, maybe I did like it, I can go into edit and then redo brush tool and then it'll come back. But let's say I do a series of things and then I decide that, oh no, the last four or five things I did, I really don't like them. So the edit undo only goes back one step. But what's nice is that we have the history. So the history um, is usually on your right hand side of the screen in a little bar that's next to the layers. Um, it looks like three squares, the bottom square is solid and then there's an arrow kind of shooting upward. Um, if you don't see this icon then you can go under window and then check history and then it'll kind of automatically pop up for you. Okay, you can also go um, into to do seems to be the best way to go about it. Um, sometimes you can kind of click and drag icons into an area. So if it's just window history, we'll show that. Okay, so with the history, you'll see all of your actions up to a point show up for you. So since I didn't do a lot of editing on this, I'm still able to go all the way back to where I opened up my image. But with this, you work from the bottom and work your way up. So as soon as I start clicking up, 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 you start to see things changing little by little. So let's say that you can kind of go back and forth and kind of find a place where you were pretty content with where you were. So, so that level, layers level, not so hot. So I'm just going to go back to the one before it. Then from here, everything that was done after it will no longer exist as soon as I start to do something new. You can see that all that stuff that was there just disappeared. And then as I start to work, my actions go back, and I can always step backward from there. So that's the undo and history.